Hello, my good people, and welcome to another episode of Ford Patria. Yes, last time we did the coffee shop, the realistic one, inside the museum, and we will eventually go back to the museum. Though, this episode today, I did promise you guys to make a new habitat for a dinosaur or an instinct animal. So, I decided to take the Brachiosaurus today because I told you guys that I want the view from the museum, like at the arch of the window, as you saw in the first few shots of the cinematics. I want that to be noticeable from the museum so you can actually see these big guys walking around behind the museum and also through the window. And I really nailed that perspective. I really think it's super cool. And that's kind of like my whole goal. This video particular too is gonna be a little bit back and forth and you're probably gonna think like why isn't he finishing a lot of the things? Well, it's because I wanted to put out a video before I go on my little travels here. So I felt like I, I could maybe build something like this and just get it started and then just telling you guys about what my intentions and what I kind of want to do with this build. So, but it's pretty simple though. It's what I'm doing here in the section here, as you see now, this is gonna be the habitat for the Brachiosaurus. And I know that this habitat is way too small for these big guys. I will eventually, eventually try to do a bigger habitat for them. I'm just kind of like, I just need to figure out what's good and what's not good. And how will these dinosaurs roam around in this habitat here? As you can see, I still have a little bit on the left side where I actually add water to, but it is something I can always change if I feel like it, or at least just maybe getting in a little bit more space because it does look like that they are pretty, pretty packed in here, but that's for, that's for another, another time. Yeah. So as you can see, the video is sort of short, but that's also mainly because I just had these intentions of what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the Brachiosaurus, and then I wanted to build a lighthouse. And I think this lighthouse is gonna be part of Fort Petria in that sense that I wanna have maybe two or three of them uh, on each corner or on each, how do you say, side of the, of the fort. So everyone that comes from everywhere they came from, they could kind of see that, oh, there's a fort here, even though having multiple lighthouses can be confusing. But in this case, we'll do it for aesthetics and it's probably gonna look super, super dope. The lighthouse is not gonna be done either. As I say, today is just literally fixing up some stuff um, and uh, just template buildings all the way around. Just trying to like finding a vibe. Because if, if I can end off this left side here, of the four first, then that would be literally amazing. That's my goal with it. So I'm trying to like just go on the left side and then maybe when we come back again, we will obviously finish off the lighthouse, this specific area here. And then we're also gonna go inside to the museum again. And then hopefully we can add a lot more dinosaurs later on in the, in the show. But, I did promise you guys this animal habitat and I know it's not like the most, it's pretty simple. It's pretty damn simple, but it will get a lot better as you guys have known already now, if you have seen my videos that a lot of the things I do stand kind of like 50% done because I usually put them like left and right. I move them back and forth to kind of see what looks good. Is the composition good? How, how is everyone looking like? How is the depth? How is the... How's the color scheme? How's everything kind of works together? And I do that a lot. So you might you might see, as I say, like some things standing uh, half built and not really done. And that's totally, totally on purpose. So you don't have to uh, think about that. Oh, no, 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 what's gonna happen? Oh, is he ever gonna finish it? Or no, that, that has he even seen that it's not straight? Yada, yada. I am totally, totally aware of this. I do like how these animals, they uh, they walk around and roam around in the habitat here though and they just make like this super super nice vibe having them like poking out of the walls or up uh, above the walls so you can kind of see their head like when you're coming from uh, from Peeps, Peeps view. Yeah, don't mind that, that was a little glitch I saw. And But I do 
really like how this habitat is starting to look like. I mean, it's very, very quick, very simple, but it gives me a lot of ideas on what I want to do and how I want to evolve and how I want to expand this. And as you can see, like we just did in the start, we had some terracotta roofs, which I added towards some of the buildings we've done because we've missed those. So now we don't need to make custom terracotta roofs anymore, which is quite nice. Yes, it is. So I'm literally just finishing up some things, guys. Here I'm adding some fencing so we can have people walking around here. That's going to be a tricky thing too whenever we get that far and actually get guests in here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just can't seem to get my guests in here even though the zoo uh, or the park is open. I don't know if I misclicked something. Or I, I don't know. We'll see. Nevertheless, it's also kind of nice that just being able to build without any guests and stuff, right? And then you don't have any interruptions and... Yeah, the guests in this game are not really so active, I guess. They don't really do much. So, but I am fencing up the the entire section here, the entire freaking habitat, so we can like sort of get that security and get that safety and so people can walk around here and, and not fall in. Uh, well, let's hope they won't. And then we got the... Uh, the section below where we're obviously gonna have guests too and we'll probably add some glasses in there with some frames and stuff like that so but so far we got about three uh, three animals um, and we are hopefully and obviously gonna get lots and lots more lots lots more that's the whole that's the whole vibe definitely this game has so that's what we're doing and next time as I said we're gonna go back into the museum and we're also gonna finish up these things here and probably also gonna try see if we can add some more foliage some more sitting areas and actually just get the people to interact with what we've built even though the guests aren't that interactive yet but it will come eventually hopefully right so here just a little bit of a boring part like i'm legit just putting all these wall pieces alongside the wall here so we get a little bit of a more fort vibe and then with the fencing too, it kind of gives it like, like super nice realism uh, effects. And um, I'm digging that. I think that's super, super cool. So as you can see, I'm again trying out some things to figuring out what I need to do. And when you see this wall, this will obviously get duplicated all the way around. So we get some more trims, we get some more support, just a little bit more on the walls, literally. That's, that's what it's all about. Um, but yeah. I don't know which animal I should add next time, friends. If you have any animal you would like to see in Fort Petria, let me know uh, down below what you have of suggestions. I am willing to literally figure out whatever animal that we can have in here that could also um, fit because we don't really have any, like uh, he comes from this area of the world. This is this biome. No, this is just blah, everything in one park. And I, I don't care about biomes and the scenery and stuff because this whole fort, this whole build itself it's gonna be a fort anyways, and it's built as a fort, and we're gonna keep on doing that. And then eventually when we get further and further in and have the whole base of the fort, we can slowly start making all those boats I told you guys about, maybe up here even. Just, you know, some small things to make it look more modern. As we've already done a few places like the fencing, the flower beds with the palm trees, etc. all these things already makes it feel so more uh, 2022 then whenever this fort uh, was built I guess <laughs> something like that but I am 100% satisfied with what we achieved today even though it was a very short like I legit think this was like three hours of work guys and uh, it was a, a great afternoon and then just having a little bit of preparation for you guys so you guys can sort of see what am I trying to do? What am I going to do with this? And how is this going to eventually look? So after we start making the lighthouse here, I'm also slowly starting, you know, to add foliage, to add those rocks, all those things. And as soon as I start adding these things, it definitely gets that like super Ford and lighthouse vibe uh, for sure. I'm also going to add lights in the lighthouse. Of course, you can just honestly just call this video part one out of two almost like because it's gonna be it's gonna be two parts like lately i've been doing these videos where i just have these bigger projects in my mind but i cannot put them all into one video so i rather want to divide them like this so you get parts and then at the end 
Uh, hopefully the build will stand completely finished. But we're slowly, slowly moving towards uh, the last build of uh, the, this video here, guys. And as I said, this is the lighthouse. And oh my God, as again, I have not even one time yet mentioned the scaling. But I am gonna. The scaling is epic. And uh, making this lighthouse is gonna be super fun when I can get go in next time and make all the mechanics like the lighting and also like just trying to make this look very more modernized. Because um, as I said now, it was a very quick template and I just kind of wanted to have something to present to you guys that was not a freaking generic, boring lighthouse or a habitat for that matter. So I felt like I had to mix it up a bit. And since I did that long video last time with the coffee shop and stuff, it took a lot out of me. So I felt like today, this time around, we could maybe take um, a little bit of a slower or faster approach, I mean, but less of an approach. Um, and it also gives me some vibes and some thoughts, uh, a good thought progress to what I can do, what I can achieve with this. And I'm already like starting to think about adding water all the way around on the left side here. And then we can slowly add the walls. And then maybe we can do one day where we divide, like we just add signs in these small gaps and habitats that we're gonna do and already prepare on which um, animals, first pre um, instinct animals, that we should or dinosaurs we should get in here because then maybe now i can slowly get an overview on how big we need to make them right and also i don't know how i, I think the brachiosaurus is probably the biggest one in the game uh, otherwise i have to go and search upon that but we're slowly getting to the end of this video friends and as you can see here, I'm slowly just trying to add the, uh, the frames here and trying to see what looks best. And now we got the terracotta roof again, right? Which I, I, I just love this piece. And I'm gonna use it so much in here. It just makes everything so good. Look at this. It's so simple, it's so easy. I can just plop this on top instead of going ham and making my own custom, custom roof here. So I am very happy for Prehistoric Kingdom adding that in their latest update which is also something i would say if you would like to see some of the blueprints or prefabs as we call them here i put up two prefabs on the workshop the links is in the description below it is what you saw me build last time the coffee machine and then for my second video of prehistoric kingdom where i build the stone age huts so if that has anything any interest to you you should go check them out on the workshop they're right there and as i said link and everything you need to know my discord my twitch patreon all of it is down below guys so uh, go check that out and also leave a like if you think the video deserves it and uh, subscribe for more for more content if you like what you see here and also on my stream we play all kinds of creative games too so if you like the vibe here you would definitely like it on stream too so yeah Finishing up uh, the wall here towards the lighthouse, just giving it a little bit of trim, just making it look a little bit more presentable instead of just boring uh, brick walls here. Which, by the way, I do really like these brick walls. They are super, super cool. Super, super cool. And you can change the colors on them too. So, I mean, it's perfect. It's just perfect like that. So right here, before we end off uh, the video, guys, I am doing a little bit of foliage work. As I said, I'm trying to like make it look like the water is kind of like, you know, leaning towards the fort here while we are gonna place some rocks, some palm trees and stuff like that. I also, as you can see here, I just completely forgot that, that I also make a little bit of a stair way. And then I have hopefully, whenever we get the people to walk around in here, that they will actually use this and we also we need everything needs to make sense you know we can't just make like a, an extra level foundation here and no none of them can reach it right so that's obviously something we got to work with too but in total i'm satisfied with what we achieved today friends i hope the cinematics will do it justice for now and of course next time we are gonna do tons of lot more stuff I am very inspired to get started on here when I come back home from my vacation. So don't you worry, there'll be lots more of Fort Petria and Prehistoric Kingdom. Though this will probably be the only project 
in this game for now. Uh, there's no need to start multiple projects in a game where we're just starting to learn pretty much. So there you have it guys. There's a little bit of extra stuff here to the lighthouse. And then we are slowly just going to do some things in the background and then you will get some cinematics. I hope you guys have a great, great day. I hope you like the video guys and also remember all the information and all what you need to know is down below and it even rhymes. God damn. <sighs> all right, guys, take care and uh, enjoy the last speed build here before the cinematics and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care, homies. Bye-bye.